Well, it's time for our uh, last preliminary heat for the Senior Max Division. And we have 33 competitors now circulating. Your grid is as follows. Another British front row this time. Mark Kimber and Gus Lawrence on the front row. Ahead of uh, Philip Vava from Spain. Gorby Pals from Belgium with uh, the Swedish duo of Hannes Morin and Matilda Olsson. Learning at the top six. Then it is Mick Knowlton and Nick Cuppens on row four. Ahead of Axel Samiala and Conrad Jules Christensen on row five. Nick van der Mosselon and Fabian Bock ran out row six ahead of Jason Lockwood with Rasmus Friedel, Charlie Anderson and Patrick Runquist, who has been summoned to the stewards. Uh, we'll start from uh, 14th to 16th position respectively. Roy Kerfs and Emily De Hoyes on uh, 17th and 18th ahead of James Johnson from the UK and Robin Sario from Finland who ran out the top 20. Scott Vesorvins and Tom Fadet are on 21st and 22nd ahead of Nicolas Pertilatti, uh, Teresa Babikova, Ionis uh, Antonidis, uh, Dennis Siemens, Jori van der Eyck, uh, Jack Black, Jaro Dekkers, Lagim Ali, Luke Widder, Bas Janssen, and Christopher Saxer rounding at the 33 strong. So again for this particular heat it will be 10 minutes plus an additional lap. We'll have the second chance heats for both juniors and seniors a little bit later on at 2 o'clock for the juniors and at 2.20 in the afternoon for the seniors. And that will be anyone that's qualified from 29th and below will have an opportunity to battle for the top last six positions for the 34 strong that will go into battle for the two remaining finals later on today with the senior max division actually bringing the 2018 B&L Golden Trophy uh, here at Kartinggenk to a close this afternoon. And the weather at the moment, quick uh, update, still 12 degrees Celsius. Still around a 5 mile an hour or 8 kph wind as we now wait for uh, everyone to uh, start getting into uh, position. Ready to go green for 10 minutes plus one additional lap. We've already had a couple of full starts this morning, but we want to make sure that it doesn't happen for the remainder of the day. The drivers go into the tram lines. The Rotax engines roar into life and we go green heading into turn number one here at Karting Genk. And I tell you what, it's been... A and Mark Kimber was being pushed up from behind a little bit there, but I think Philip Vava's now up into second position. Nice work by the Spaniard who came, uh, didn't have uh, the best of luck. Three wide again going through turn number four, and someone goes very wide indeed. Two wheels on the grass, but manages to rejoin, keeps the cart on the black stuff. Meanwhile, the two leaders starting to get away a bit now. Looks to be Mark Kimber and Philip Vava at the front of the field. Matilda Olson looks to be now in third position with Hannes Morin uh, sporting a Sodi Kart chassis with a very black front bumper on it. Uh, fifth place is uh, in the hands of uh, Corby Powell's Mick Knowlton in sixth place. But let's just see what the order is as they come round. Now it's the 285 of uh, Gus Lawrence that's currently in third. Matilda Olson down a little bit further. And there's someone very, very frustrated indeed as uh, that person's just rejoined and had a collision with somebody else. So uh, Larga Mali looks to be a, a non-starter. Kimber leads. Vava second. Lawrence Morin. Nolton Olson. Bowles. Van der Mosselar. Uh, Anderson and Christensen ran out the top ten. And the one pulling in the pits is... The 274, and that is Nick Cuppens. And Jack Black looks to be the other one that uh, was uh, banging the uh, steering wheel in frustration. So a bit of a shame for uh, the Belgian as well as the Aussie. But Matilda Olsen's really, really hustling behind the uh, back bumper of Nick Knowlton in the 294. And these two have been battling through the season, especially in the Rotax Max Euro Trophy this year. There's also another cart that I can see, which is Lager Mali, which was actually pulled off before we even got green, so didn't even get to the uh, formation. Uh, but the uh, three, maybe make that four at the front of the field. Mark Kimber leads from Philip Vava from Spain. Then you also have uh, Gus Lawrence and uh, Hart Hannes Morin as Philip Vava goes up the inside of Mark Kimber to take the lead of the race going into the exit of turn one into turn number two. And Hannes Morin is really trying to factor into this one as uh, Matilda Olson has dropped a couple of further places behind uh, Corby Pals now, who I think will now be in sixth position. Also now down into 8th place as there's more uh, changes for position and Gus Lawrence has now uh, had been passed down the back straight by Hannes Morin going into turn number 7. Some nice work by the Swede getting some uh, welcome seat time in the Sodi Kart chassis which will be used by the seniors at the uh, forthcoming Rotax Max Challenge Grand Finals in just 3 weeks. But the Swede has always been quick and he's going up the inside of the... Uh, 
of the uh, number 285 of uh, Gus Lawrence there. So nice work by the Swede. Now up into second. Philip Mother now leads the race. As it looks like we've got Kimber and Lawrence embroiled in a battle for not just second or third, but uh, nice work there by uh, Kimber to get past Morin back into second position. Mick Knowlton has just sprung out of nowhere and goes up uh, past uh, Gus Lawrence for fourth place. So the Dutch driver uh, now trying to muscle his way past into third position. But it's not going to quite happen yet. And you can see that I think that was Hannah's Morin, I suspect. He's just been saying to the drivers behind, let's just get to the, get to, closer to the two in front, which is uh, still Philip Bava. Hannes Morin is now in third position as Mark Kimber looks to have reassumed second place. Just under six and a half minutes, plus one additional lap to go. So Nick van der Mosselo is coming under in intense scrutiny and uh, has just been passed by Matilda Olson on the penultimate corner. So the Swede from Strawberry Racing doing a really good job as always. A very quick young Swede. But the person that's quite literally flying at the moment is currently sitting in 11th position. That is Rasmus Friedel, uh, who's just set a 55.527, quicker than anybody at the moment. And I'm just looking, it uh, looks like Gus Lawrence uh, is uh, about nine tenths off of that. Hannes Morin, not that far adrift by about, uh, probably about uh, half a second. Uh, Gorby Powell's actually, his best lap was the last tour around, a 55.881 from the young Belgian. So leaders now uh, starting to make their way through sector number three. Rather 16.4, Kimber 16.4, Knowlton 16.4, Hannes Morin in fourth now, 16.6 from the Swede. He's now got Gus Lawrence uh, closing in on the back bumper, as is Colby Pals. He then got Matilda Olson in seventh, Nick van der Mosselau in eighth place. And uh, Pals is actually challenging uh, Hannes Morin right now, it looks to be the case. And has overtaken. Uh, looks to have overtaken him just then. So nice work by the uh, treble two from Belgium. Kimber still leads uh, from Philip Vava. Mick Knowlton third. So leaders now coming through towards uh, the final sector of the lap here at Karting Genk in Belgium. As the sun continues to beat down here. So Kimber leads. Vava second. Knowlton third. Lawrence now up into fourth place. Behind is uh, Kobe Bowles, Hannes Morin. And you've also got Matilda also Nick van der Mosselo now up into eighth place as well. Nick Nolte's just uh, stealing positions like candy from a baby as he gets past Philip Vava for that coveted second place. So nice work by the uh, 294 running with the uh, GKM Lemons pow GKS Lemons Powers cr Power Crew who uh, are based out of here of the circuit itself. So Philip Vava now demoted down to third position. So Kimber continues to lead. Some changes up and down the order as they come through into turn number seven. Time remaining on the clock is uh, three and three quarter minutes plus one additional lap. Here in the uh, last of the uh, preliminary heats for the senior division. Uh, the second chance heat takes place at 20 past two this afternoon. And again, the fastest lap goes to the 210 of Rasmus Friedel, who's currently still sitting in uh, 11th place behind uh, Denmark's Conrad Jul Christensen. Well, actually, no, that's changed because Rasmus Friedel has now hit the top 10. But Mark Kimber really ought to watch uh, behind him because there is a fast closing uh, Dutch charger in the form of Mick Knowlton in the 294, about half a cart length behind as they go through into turn number seven. Knowlton really closes up using the uh, slipstream and also late braking to uh, keep with the Brits. And the gap is about half a cart length or so between first and second at the moment. This is really getting intense now at the front of the field as Knowlton is on a flyer and he's not letting Kimber get away with this one. I tell you that right now, just by the driving style. Very aggressive, as I've come to expect, having started commentating on Mick Knowlton uh, back in April this year here at Karting Genk. And he's just really just uh, going for it, and he's gone for it right now. 
goes side by side with Kimber and slingshots past the brick going into turn two. Now it's taking the uh, offensive, defensive line going through turn three, shutting the door at turn four. Now into turn five they go. This is allowing Philip Lover to close on the two in front. But behind them you've got Gus Lawrence, Corby Pearls, Matilda Olsen has got past Hannes Warren now up into sixth position and she was trying to mount an assault on uh, Gus Lawrence coming down the back straight but thought better of it. Powell's is really uh, a credit for cutting his teeth very well in senior max at the minute, but Mick Knowlton still leading Mark Kimber, really trying to force the issue, trying to force Knowlton into a mistake. Knowlton knows better of it. As the 24-year-old from uh, the Netherlands uh, keeps the door closed firmly for the Brits at the minute, we still have 1 minute and 43 seconds, plus an additional lap to go in this uh, last preliminary heat in the uh, BNL Rotax Golden Trophy. So Knowlton leads. Kimber second, Vava third, fourth is Powell's, Lawrence, uh, I'm just keeping an eye on where Lawrence is because Matilda Olson is now back on the back bumper of Corby Powell's, so it's a resumption of the battle that started earlier on in this race, so Matilda Olson has really got the bit between her teeth, she is really hunting down Corby Powell's, who takes a quick glance of his right shoulder, then gets the head down. But the momentum is switching towards Matilda Olson's favour coming down that back straight, she's really on the back bumper of the uh, young Belgian. Uh, right now, and looks to have gone and passed him, I believe. And Powell's is losing a few places now. He gets forced a bit wide coming out of turn number nine. So he's dropped down from uh, what was effectively fourth position, probably to around about seventh or eighth by my count. Uh, which looks to be the case. He looks to be just in head, yep, in eighth position, just ahead of Nick van der Mosselaar as the leaders cross the start finish line again. Kimber leads, Knowlton second, Vava in third. Then it's Matilda Olson, Gus Lawrence, Hannes Morin, Charlie Anderson, Rasmus Friedel now all up the way into 8th place ahead of Corby Powell's. Patrick Runquist now into 10th place ahead of Nick van der Mosselaar. James Johnson, Conrad Jules Christensen, Nicolas Pirtilati uh, and Ioannis uh, uh, Antonidis uh, rounds out the top 15. But the leaders are coming through. Uh, towards the uh, end of the second sector here at Karting Genk. We've got uh, six seconds on the clock to go, so it'll be this plus one additional lap with Mark Kimber now starting to pull away from Mick Knowlton. He looks incredibly racy indeed a little bit earlier on before the Brit uh, seized the advantage and then uh, got back in front. So last lap board it is for Mark Kimber from the UK. Mick Knowlton in second, Philip Vava in third. Matilda Olson. In fourth out of Gus Lawrence who rounds out the top five. James Johnson in the meantime has got past Patrick Runquist for 10th place on that last tour. So final lap it is the leaders now streak their way down the back straight from turn six to seven for the final time. As there's more battling uh, up and down the order looks like uh, Bobby Bowles is uh, really coming under intense pressure, I think, from uh, James Johnson for what is effectively ninth place. But the Lee is now coming to uh, complete the final lap of this uh, last preliminary heat for the CD Max division. Mark Kimber takes a quick glance over his right shoulder, powers through the final couple of corners, and it's not going to be enough for Mick Knowlton as Mark Kimber wins the heat ahead of Mick Knowlton by 0.113 of a second. Philip Vava takes third out of Matilda Olson. Gus Lawrence rounds out the top five. Rasmus Friedel, the uh, flying Swede, flew all the way up into sixth position, but the fastest lap of the race, boys, you better watch out, Matilda Olson, 55, 174 from the 232. And that was on a few laps ago, that was on lap number eight, so four laps ago. Completing the order from uh, seventh position, Hannes Morin in the 219, Charlie Anderson in the 299, Gobby Pauls and James Johnson ran out the top 10. Patrick Runquist in 11th place, ahead of Nick van der Mosselaar, Conrad Jules Christensen, Nicolas Petelati, Luke Wooder, Yanis uh, Antonidis, Emily de Hoyes, Teresa Babikova, with Jason Lockwood and Roy Kerfs rounding out the top 20. Jori van der Eyck and uh, Robin Sario were 21st and 22nd respectively, ahead of Fabian Bock, Axel Samiala, Jaro Deckers, Scott Westhorvens, Tom Verdate, Bas Janssen, Dennis Siemens uh, and Christopher Saxer being the last of the 30 classified finishers with Nick Cuppins, Jack Black and Logan Alley not finishing the race.